I arrived in Prague on the 20th of August in the morning and awoke the next morning to find myself in the middle of the Warsaw Pact invasion. This is one of the spots I was standing and taking photographs of uh, Soviet tanks facing off with the uh, massive protests uh, of people coming up from Rupulikia, Namnesti down here. We're standing on the side of the Sugar Palace uh, where I took one of my photographs of a tank uh, lined up along the sidewalk here. The thing that struck me about the tank was the way the, uh, the soldiers on the tank were lounging and uh, lying down with guns pointed towards the crowd. Um, and then there's a poignant view of a woman who looks like she's praying in one of the windows. And the, on, top, on the edge of the building, what looks like a skull, which turns out to be a face. Right here we're standing uh, where there was a face-off between the tanks and the protesters. The atmosphere was electric. There were signs uh, that were being carried by the group, uh, basically telling the Russians, you're not welcome, you're not invited. It's a little strange to be back in Prague uh, 50 years after the invasion and remember what it was like to be 19 years old and have no fear. Somehow, I don't even can't recall uh, ever considering the danger that I put myself in at this, and at the same time it was nothing as compared to what the Czechs were having to, to deal with themselves.